Simple Cafe E, Entertainment Electronics Tutorials. Hey, so we may have media which may not be the sharpest, but we still like to play, right? Well, we can if our TVs still have RCA inputs, but really TVs with these connectors are slowly but surely disappearing. In favor of the not so new king in town, yep, you know it, HDMI. A wonderful cable, really, of course, but incompatible with our older players. So out we drag our old TV sets. But there actually is a way to play these on our modern TV sets. With the help of this little converter. Most look like this, but during this installation, I'll be using a different type, which will hopefully give you an idea of the type that'll work best for your setup. And truth be told, this will be the first time I try it myself, so we're going to find out if this works together. Anyway, this is what a converter does. It takes your RCA devices and converts the signal to go out as HDMI. Say you want to watch precious memories from your camera. Well, instead of plugging it into your TV set, plug it into this converter. And from the other end, we'll be able to connect it to your TV via HDMI. Last thing to do is plug in the power supply. As a matter of fact, if you find yourself a converter which doesn't require any power, I can't recommend it. The thing is, these aren't simple adapters. These are converters which require real energy to convert your signal. All right, it's setup time. Remember, this is my first time setting this up. So we'll see if this doesn't work, this particular model will not be recommendable. Okay, well, this is what comes in the box. The actual converter in a bubble wrap sleeve and an HDMI cable, that's handy, slides right out. And unlike the more typical models, notice how this one has cables attached. One of the reasons I chose this type is because these here are input cables for RCA, which extends my reach in case I were to need it. I like the power cable also being attached, that way I can't lose or forget it. And I figured this slender type of converter is easier to hide. As for the power, we can use a USB power adapter or plug it straight into our TV if our TV has that USB input slot. Okay, okay, ready for testing. We'll be using an older DVD player which doesn't have HDMI inputs, just RCA. I'll just plug the RCA cables in just like this. And here's where the converting gets done. On the other end, is where I'll plug in my HDMI cable, so we can plug it into our TV just like this. This is what the output side of the setup looks like. Be sure not to overlook that the output side is for the HDMI cable. If it's on the input side, you'll end up with the wrong converter. When you do go shopping for yours, just see that it's called RCA to HDMI or AV to HDMI, not the other way around. That would end up doing the opposite of what we want. All right, let's complete the installation. I took out the HDMI cable I had plugged in so I can use this one already plugged into the TV because who wants the hassle of plugging into a TV already mounted to the wall? Okay, now the power will go down here since this TV doesn't have an open USB input. Oh, and the power for the DVD player too. Okay, time for the digital versatile disc. Now, let's see if this RCA device will work with a non-RCA television. Okay, just waiting for the TV to power on. There it is. Next is the DVD player splash screen. Good. Now, will the DVD content play? Sweet. Remote drop. And adios. Nah, just kidding. I just want to remind you, when you go out and get your converter, don't just go out looking for a converter and with these words in it. Make sure that the order is this way. RCA to HDMI. Getting yours the other way around will cause disastrous results, as in wasted time and money. Well, I hope you liked my first video for this channel. More electronic entertainment tutorials to come. Let me know if you like this one, and subscribe if you want my videos to come through on your next search results. Good luck and see you later.